hi there, Lucas here again. In today's video, we will adapt Coke and P filters to 4x4. Well, some days ago, I bought this really cool and nice uh, Pro Aim matte box from my friend Nitsan. By the way, you should check out this channel, he's really good. And um, the main reason for me to buy it was um, I could use these nice, really good uh, 4x4 filters. It's basically in professional filmmaking, you use professional filters from companies like Tiffin, which come in the 4x4 inch format, which is around 10 by 10 centimeters. Um, they're pretty great, they are uh, made from high quality glass, and uh, so they are really good, and there's more than just ND and ND uh, graduated filters, they are much more uh, really nice nice filters, uh, yet I don't have the money for them um, to get them right now, but what I have are some really old but uh, usable Koken P filters. In the Koken P system you have um, a carrier for uh, filters and you simply slide filters in like this. Uh, then you would have an adapter ring on your lens and you just could uh, click this little array in and you have a nice filter holder right away. Um, there are many filters for this system, like this graduated tobacco one, you can get NDs, diopters, uh, diffusion, anything you like, really. So as I have laying these uh, simply around, I thought I could maybe adapt them into these uh, filter holders from the matte box, yet they are a bit too small. Actually, they are nine and a half centimeter uh, big on the um, vertical axis. So uh, actually we can build a pretty simple adaptation for these filters to use in our matte boxes. I had some ideas to build an adapter. Uh, I tried frames like this one to uh, stick the filter in here and um, hold it with uh, rubber bands or something. I tried to make such frames but they're... <laughs> Yeah, weren't that stable, then I came across a very much simpler solution. So basically what you will need for this build is some PVC. I bought this little plate in Home Depot for around 2 euros and 50 cents. Exacto knife, some of this tape, I don't know the English word, we call it taser film, and uh, nothing more but a nice uh, little toothpick. From my earlier tries I still have uh, the cutout from these frames, so basically what I need to do now is uh, cut down around half a centimeter from this. Uh, the width of this filter is, uh, let's measure it, around eight and a half centimeters. So uh, that's okay. So this needs to be eight and a half centimeters. And now we cut down around five millimeters, which is around this one. So now we take the knife and uh, this PVC is pretty easy to handle. You can simply uh, scratch down here a few strokes. Uh, you don't need to add too much pressure. In the end you can do a bit more. If it's uh, already carved in a bit you can do it freehand. There's no need for ruler anymore. So now we have it cut, there's something left, so we can... And we're done with this. Now we need to prepare the toothpick. And uh, this one is pretty easy, you just simply uh, cut, out, cut out, cut off the... Uh, the uh, yeah, whatever it's called, I don't know. The... Um, Yeah, you know what I mean. So, and then you need about a, a centimeter. So, so this is done too. When doing these videos, I don't be as clean as I should be. So if you do this, please um, remember to clean up your whole stuff. So it always is good. I just do this for demonstration. So now we need transparent tape here. And uh, yeah, we can simply use one of this. Now we align the plastic from the PVC and the filter like this. And we just put it on. Then we um, 
say it on the other side. And then we add this little this little toothpick piece. This is for stability, so uh, this part won't um, wobble around. So just like this. So. Um, and now you're done. The cool thing about this mod is that it still fits into the uh, Coke and P filter holder just as I would fit into the 4x4 filter holder of the matte box. This would be a normal ND filter now. Uh, doesn't look too good, you have some space here, but when you're inserted into your matte box, you can see um, the space that's left uh, isn't really affecting the lens here. So uh, that's good to go. It's not the perfect solution, of course, when you can get some 4x4 filters, do it. Um, I would recommend it. Yet, when you don't have the money or you have some Coke and pee filters lying around, you can use this technique. Hope it helped. Thanks for watching and stand by for more videos coming soon.